Once your community begins entering preference and satisfaction information into Compass, the system will generate graphs and charts on the home page dashboard, summarizing your community's progress in honoring preferences. As you can see, here is the satisfaction summary, summary and question preferences. Personalized resident reports provide, in, provide information on an individual resident's preferences as well as their satisfaction with the way their preferences are being fulfilled. Pathfinders and navigators can access in, this informa information. So to generate a resident report, a pathfinder and navigator must log into Compass and click the Residence button on the left side of the page. Next, you'll be taken to the All Residents page where you can select, select a resident from the list. Remember, residents must have completed the follow-up interview to access reports. Then the Resident Details page will appear. There are three buttons that you may find useful on this page. The satisfa Satisfaction button will show a pie chart reporting the resident's satisfaction with preference fulfillment. Please scroll down to view the care recommendations at the bottom of the satisfaction window. Based on the resident's follow-up interview, Compass will provide you with one-on-one -on -one activities to improve areas in which the resident does not feel satisfied with the way their preferences are being fulfilled. So you will click on the yellow View Suggestions button and be taken to a window titled Ippy Cards. Download the Ippy Card by clicking the yellow download button on the right side of the page. I will delve a little more into the IPI program and how to conduct an IPI activity in the next few minutes. The preferences window will show which preferences the resident reported being important and unimportant. And the interviews window allows you to view the resident's completed initial and follow-up interviews by just clicking the view button on the right side of the page. In terms of the IPI cards, this program is called the Individualized Positive Psychosocial Intervention, and its purpose is to guide direct care workers as they engage residents in positive ways that enhance well-being and address behavioral responses. IPI kits and training videos show effective techniques to lead brief personal care and leisure activities specifically designed for people living with dementia. This flexible person-centered approach can be implemented meaningfully into daily care. If you click on the IPI cards on the left side of the dashboard, you can view a comprehensive list of all the 57 IPI cards available. And these can all be saved, downloaded, and printed by clicking the download button to the right of the page. As we pre previously went over in resident reports, you will want to view the care recommendations listed under the resident report and satisfaction details. You should bring and review this report at the care plan meeting. You'll want to celebrate the green successes that show the resident is very satisfied with the preferences being made and then discuss the yellow and red areas of the report that show the resident is somewhat or not satisfied with preferences being met. Here's where the IPI cards come into play because you'll want to use them for one-to-one -one protocol activities to help guide staff members, improve satisfaction, and turn these yellow and red areas to green. To learn more about the IPI program, please check, up, check out our website for more resources.